Imagine signing into Azure today and suddenly none of your VMs could reach the internet. No alerts, no warnings, just silence. That nightmare was supposed to happen today, September 30th, 2025. Today, Microsoft Azure planned to kill default outbound access to the internet forever. Admins around the world have been scrambling, testing, patching, praying they were ready, that none of their critical dependencies would break, as we all held our breath, bracing for the internet apocalypse. Microsoft tried to make it sound like just another routine cloud update, but the closer we got to today, the clearer it became. And you started to realize this would be your organization's largest cybersecurity wake-up call ever. And then, when it looked inevitable, Microsoft blinked. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. It's a trap. When Microsoft first announced this deadline back in 2023, they wanted to make the cloud more secure. But the entire Azure world really just shrugged. Announcing back in 2003 something that wouldn't happen until 2025 was kind of like buying school supplies for your kid who hasn't even been born yet. Even I only found out back in July 2024 from an email update. And I was shocked when I first heard this news. I started talking to all of the Azure product teams and asking what they were doing to get ready. But I was again shocked that most of them hadn't even heard about it. So I started searching YouTube and everywhere else I could online, but nobody had any content around this topic. So I made this one. And over 35,000 of you watched it. Thanks, by the way. And you all seemed to feel as blindsided by this as I was. And I got so many different comments and DMs asking how they could be ready. And as we got closer, I made more videos trying to warn more people about the end of DOA. But when I checked the Azure Updates page two weeks ago, I saw this. Now I assume Microsoft realized that all of their product teams and customers were just not ready. So they pulled a huge Uno reverse. But it doesn't mean we're out of the woods yet. The link to this page is in the video's description. And it looks like we have until March 31st, 2026, which gives us all six months. Then all new virtual networks and subnets will be private by default, which means no more default outbound access connectivity. And if your VMs need access to or from the internet, you'll have to explicitly grant it using something like a NAT gateway, a load balancer, public IP address, and a firewall would also work. And the good news is that this change won't impact existing virtual networks or even brand new VMs deployed on those existing VNets. And we have until the end of March 2026, which is good news, but you can't put this off anymore. You need to start figuring out what systems and services you use inside and outside of Azure along with your third-party connections. Do those connection paths leave Azure and go over the internet to get to their destinations? Well, you need a strategy for those. Or do you use any other Microsoft SaaS or PaaS services? How are you gonna get there if you don't have access to the internet? In fact, I've made this video just to help you get started. And happy learning.